What's up guys, Oxyblock here with another how-to video and today we're going to be looking into how to install Sodium. Now Sodium is a new mod that came out and it's going to act as a rival to Optifine. Now which one is better for you, it's going to be a little bit independent uh, and subjective. But if what you're looking for is just a FPS boost, uh, getting uh, pure performance out of Minecraft and uh, be make the game a little more fluid, I think this may be this may be the right thing for you. So let's jump into it right away. Let's uh, let's show you guys how to install safely Sodium on your computers. But let's go ahead and begin with the download. So the, we can start with Sodium. Uh, it doesn't really matter in what order you're going to be downloading the items but you do want to install them in a certain order. So make sure that you check that later on in the video. Now, all the links are gonna be in the description and the first link that uh, I am starting with is with the Sodium mod. The only thing that we need to do really is just hit this download button. Don't hit anything else, wait the five seconds and the download would automatically begin. As you can see, it's gonna ask us if you want to keep it or discard it uh, because it's a, it's a file that you're downloading from a website that Chrome doesn't really know, so it's gonna it's gonna pop up. It is safe to download, but if you want to run an antivirus through it, that's completely fine. It should be okay. Now that we have that, we can jump into Fabric, and this one also is a pretty easy one. When we log into the link that is in the description, it's gonna bring you to this website. And the only thing that you need to do over in the installations um, title, just go over here where it says download here and hit this link. And over here, download the installer, the universal.jar. This one doesn't have any weight, so just keep it, and it will download right away. There are not very big files, so it shouldn't take very long. But last but not least, we need the Fabric API. And over here, same as with the Sodium mod, hit the download button on the right side, wait for the five seconds, and go ahead and keep the file. We have all of them downloaded, so let's go ahead and jump into installing them. Now, sometimes I, I get that uh, it is difficult for some people to find uh, the items that they have downloaded. There are several ways to do that. You could uh, type downloads here, or you can just uh, hit this arrow over here and hit show in folder. This is gonna pop up your downloads folder. I like having it organized by date modified. That way you can have all of them three together since it's the only thing that I actually downloaded today. So we can go ahead, grab them all, and transfer over them, to, them over to the desktop. Now that we have them here, uh, we can see that we have the API, the Fabric Installer, and the Sodium Fabric. What we want to run actually is a Fabric Installer. So we can just double click on it, and what this is gonna do is gonna install Fabric in your Minecraft launcher. So we can go ahead and hit install, and it's gonna say that it was successful install, and that many mods will also require you to put Fabric API into the mods folder. So now that this is done, we can actually take this into the recycle bin. We don't need it anymore. And what we're going to want to do is actually search for percentage app data percentage. And then we're going to open actually the folder over here. So you can either do that, you can press start E and look into the file explorer for it. But what we're going to do over here, as we can see, we have a folder that it says dot Minecraft. Double click on that, then log into mods over here. And you can group these two and just drag them into here. Now, by doing that, you actually installed Sodium successfully in the launcher. So if we were to look for Minecraft launcher and uh, start it, we can see that now we have a Fabric Loader 1.16.1. Now, this is going to be your uh, Sodium installation. If you wanted to change the name, you can do that. Just come over here, hit Edit. And then just change the name. Just say um, Minecraft Sodium. And that is completely fine. We can now hit play. When the game will start. Eventually. And uh, it will launch Minecraft 1.16.1 in Sodium. Let me uh, wait till the download is finished. And I'll show you guys uh, the results. So as you can see, Minecraft finally launched. And over here in the bottom left corner, you can see that we're in Minecraft 1.16.1 with Fabric. Now, if we were to log into a game, so let's just log into non red like Reston Farms, we can see how the game loads. Everything works pretty smoothly. And if we open the F3 over there in the top left corner, at, as you start Sodium, it's gonna be in 120, 118 FPS. The reason for that is actually if we go to video settings and we see that Sodium actually has a pretty neat video settings uh, setup, 
it's because vsync for me is activated vsync is um matching the frame rate to whatever my um monitor can actually output so if we deactivate this we're gonna see how the um frame rate is going to increase a lot. We have another, a lot of other um, options that we can activate, deactivate to get a little bit more uh, performance out of the game. But now that it's deactivated, you can check that even though I am recording at the moment and I'm uh, using a lot of CPU power to, to do that, we're getting over 200 frames per second. And if I stay still, we can get up to 300 and sometimes even 600 at, at the beginning. So really, really improves the performance of the game. And this is mind that there are like over 60 entities in this place from uh, a previous video that I did. So definitely this would have been something that would have lowered my FPS drastically if I had not installed this mod. So definitely working very well. But Sally guys, that's gonna be it for today. I hope that you found that video useful and interesting. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it and want to see more comments of this kind, uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And uh, coming up will be another video that we're going to be actually comparing um, the performance of both Optifine and Sodium and also what uh, one mod offers that the other one doesn't so that you guys can choose a bit better, more informed, uh, which one is the best for you rather than just follow someone's opinion on which one is better. Thank you so much for, uh, for tuning in guys and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great one.